Hey guys, it's Sam's Geek, and you might be wondering, Samuel, Samuel, it's not, it's not Saturday. Why are you doing your Samuel Rambles? Well, I'm going to HD Shadows tomorrow because basically my brother and dad are so into basketball, they have to go to the state tournament. And since this is my first spring break, you know, we have two spring breaks here, down here where I live. And uh, I get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Five days. I get Resident Evil 5. Five days for Resident Evil 5. I'm going to pick up Mad World. Hopefully, GameStop is actually retarded. It was supposed to come out today at GameStop, but um, they said that they're not allowed to release it till the 11th. Everyone I know on my Wii's, like everyone that I know that has a Wii already, Already has the game. Slasher Thrasher. You're a jerk. You have Resident Evil 5 before me. You beat it. I can't believe you beat it. Yeah. I saw Slasher. I was monitoring him on my friends list while playing Call of Duty 4. And it was like, Slasher Thrasher on Chapter 5. Slasher Thrasher on Chapter 6. Slasher Thrasher watching credits. I'm like, what the hell? He beat it really fast. I'm assuming the game is short. I hope not. Uh, anyway, um, I'm also getting. I'm, I might get Street Fighter Four finally, because <laughs> my dad owes me a hundred bucks. So yeah. And uh, also, we are getting PlayStation Three reviews on this channel now. That's right. My our our little editor, our PlayStation editor, Mister. Carson, or most of you know him as Against Belief, might have seen him in the Game of the Year video. He's going to do videos. He's going to do reviews. First one coming up should be on Monday. Flower review. That game's actually pretty cool with the six asses. His analog stick. That was pretty badass. I, I like Flower, but to me it's sort of like a screensaver rather than an actual game. It's kind of like Endless Ocean. Endless Ocean for PS3, Flower, Review, Monday. Um, other than that, I was trying to get into PC gaming. I was trying to, you know, beat HD Shadow and Achievements because we're really close. Having Achievement Wars. But, Vista's a pain in the ass. Wouldn't install, well, it installed on my MacBook. But here's the thing. Basically, Vista... You know, it's retarded, proprietary, awful driver detection is just stupid. I installed it, couldn't detect the graphics card correctly, can't play Halo 2. It says my graphics card is a lot weaker than it actually is, which is stupid because I have an XP partition. tells me the exact opposite. But Halo 2 is, you know, Vista proprietary bullshit and only works on Vista. So... Yeah, I really wish it worked on XP. It's pissing me off to no end. Halo 2 should work on XP. There's, I know there's hacks for it, but I want it for gamer score, so I need Vista. So, yeah, pain in the ass. It's been a pain in the ass the entire way. Vista is horrible. It sucks. There's no way in hell that it's good in any possible manner. I have tried to even say that it was mediocre, but I, I, I just can't. It's so bad. It is just so bad. I, uh, I've tried everything to work with it. All right, I've installed it on multiple machines. I've had the same problems every time. I even installed the stupid light version, and it still gave me crap. And I don't even know. It, it, it's horrible. I bought two copies of Vista already. It sucks. It's horrible. I, I don't understand how anyone could see this fit as a reliable or workable operating system. It is god awful. I don't ah uh, fuck ranting. Um ranting also Shadowrun Teamwork Tuesday today. Hopefully Gene's recording it. Hopefully good footage. Hopefully we'll get some awesome stuff on here. We'll either put it on mine or the Freeze Cracker Fun account. Don't know which. Ask Jeff. Also, Kingdom of Keflings contest ends tomorrow, so get your stuff down tonight.
better go tonight. Make your caption, win King for Kingdom for Keflings. Thank you, Ninja B Games. Ninja B Games is awesome. Thanks for giving us a free copy of Kingdom for Keflings to give away. Well, actually, we have two or three copies, actually. So you might win. So go to the contest. It's not that hard. All you got to do is type in a little caption for the picture. It doesn't take that long at all. Go ahead. So, yeah, we appreciate it if you participated in that contest. Also, one contest on OXM, myself. Guess the sound effect. I guess I'm the only person in the world that's played Galaga Legions. Won a faceplate. Although I accidentally gave them my, the address that USPS cannot ship to. So, Dan Amrick, I will send you the other address ASAP. Yeah. Games for Windows. <laughs> Horrible. I, I just... I can't believe this. I, I don't know. This MacBook has more than enough power to run this game. This game, this MacBook can run Call of Duty 2. It can run Spore. Why the hell can it not run Halo 2? It can even run Call of Duty on lower, Call of Duty 4 on lower settings. Vista proprietary bullshit strikes again. It's just retarded. It doesn't detect my graphics card right. I've used multiple. I've used Home Premium, Home Basic. It's just. I just, I, I, I can't take it. I don't know, Tech Computer Man, how you deal with it. But honestly, I'm about ready. I'm about ready to say I'm not even going to give Windows 7 a chance. It looks and acts just like Vista. Tried the beta at my friend's house. It, it's, it's Vista with a paint job and a little bit faster. And then some of the shit takes longer on 7. And that's saying something. If you're slower in Vista than some shit, oh my god. I think I'll stick with OS 10 and Linux. Thank you very much. They've never given me that many problems except for OS 10. But I finally fixed that. How I fixed it, I had my iPod right here. External hard drive. Had a time machine backup. I backed up to the day before it started acting all retarded. Then I uh, reinstalled the 10.5.6 update. Worked perfectly now. It works fine. No major problems now, except for it boots slower than shit now. It takes like a minute and 30 seconds to boot now. I have no idea why that is. It is very slow at booting right now. But it's, I'd rather have a slow boot and work for weeks. Because honestly, I've had my iMac. I, I leave my iMac on for weeks. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. Also, it's been getting hot here in New Mexico. I don't know. Crazy stuff. Also, uh, about Xbox Live, I'm clearing some friend spots, so I might be able to accept you, but here's the thing. I don't really play multiplayer games that often. I really don't. I really don't. I usually s sit and play single player games and chat in Xbox Live parties, because I like a lot more single player games than I do multiplayer. I just don't really like multiplayer games that much, and I don't feel the need to have many multiplayer games. All I really play is Call of Duty 4 and World at War, and I don't even play World at War that much because it's my brother's copy. Remember this, I bought Call of Duty World at War for the 360 for my brother. I own it on the Wii. So the only time I play online with Call of Duty World at War is on the Wii. Which, I'm every time I turn on my Wii, I'm sorry, it's either Animal Crossing or House of the Dead Overkill, so I have no time to go on World at War. And also House of the Dead Overkill review, Sorry it's so late, but um, because of problems with OS X, I got all my footage deleted. So, I'm going to have to re-record that bullshit when I get back. Expect to see some here in the movie stuff uploaded on here, because HD Shadow has the game. I'm going to help him get the last achievements on it, get some achievements for myself, bring my hard drive. So yeah, I also got that charity pack, 15 bucks. After a coupon, it was $20 at Walmart, and it has this god-awful game, this god-awful game, and this pretty okay game. I really like this. It feels like a Mario Kart ripoff, but other than that, it's pretty damn good. So, I hope you guys have a great and wonderful rest of the week, and I won't be doing a Samuel Rambles on Saturday, of course, right to this week.